Hey folks, now that Blender 2.81 is out, I figured I'd quickly make a video about sculpting because Blender 2.81 does have a lot of cool new sculpting features. Um, so and it does speed up the workflow. But but I thought I'd show you how I work in ZBrush a lot. Uh, it's just a method that I use to to just sculpt a lot faster. And so this has to do this method that I use has to do with shortcut keys. So you probably already know that if you go into uh, you go into sculpt mode here, some of the the brushes. I'm not sure if all of them, but I, I do know some of them. The commonly used ones do have shortcut keys. So G is for grab, S is for smooth. Um, I've never bothered to learn these because what I do is I like to assign my own custom shortcuts, and the the keys that I use are the ones at the top of the keyboard here. So from 1 to 6 typically. And the reason I use these is because I always have one hand, my left hand on the keyboard while I'm sculpting. And my other hand is on my uh, is on my tablet. So uh, if you work like I do, it's really nice because it feels natural, especially in terms of just, if you've ever played a game that makes use of these, these keys here, um, you'll know what I mean. It's just easy to like select different weapons and stuff in games and, and so on. And this just feels like the same kind of thing. So that's why I, why I like to use it. So what I typically do is I just the six brushes that I use most often. Because in sculpting, you you only ever use the same set of brushes 99% of the time. The others are like optional sometimes. So what I did here was I right-clicked on uh, the, um, the brushes that I use. So here's the draw brush. And I just gave it a shortcut here. And the one that I use here is 4. Um, and then for the grab brush, which is obviously a lot again, I use uh, 1. And then, uh, and so on, I, I go through all of them. So, uh, clay strips is 5, um, the crease brush is 3, the uh, inflate brush is 6. Here, and uh, yeah, which one did I miss? So some of them obviously I don't have on, on shortcuts, and what, what I do with those, like I do like to use the snake hook brush quite a bit, so I, I typically just um, add this to my quick favorites, and then also the um, which other one was it now? Oh yeah, um, yeah, just any other functions that I don't like to have my quick favorites too too convoluted, so uh, I I like to just uh, have just a few options on here, but I do like to have the remesh uh, option on my quick favorites as well, so I just right click on it. And uh, add to quick favorites, so snake hook and wing mesh, and I typically don't have too many here. It depends on where I'm sculpting. So yeah, w this way you you basically have like um, very very easily accessible uh, like all your all your brushes. You you don't have to go here very often. You can just uh, you can just just all do it in viewport, and you've got it right there at your fingertips, and so on. So I know if you've already memorized the, the default shortcuts, this doesn't apply to you. And uh, it's just a lot nicer to sort of to sculpt without without having to worry about um, just the uh, the buttons here at the side. You you can just focus on like what you want to focus on, just, just sculpting. So yeah, it's very useful. And as you can see here, I'm just sort of sculpting without worrying about what's going on at the side there. I just change my my uh, my brushes just when I want and and uh, yeah no problem. So hope you find this useful. Um, and uh, yeah hope it makes your life easier while while you're sculpting.